I'm from a town where the young never shut our eyes. Pick your poison, you could ride with those other guys. Life is more than just a dream when your team's strong. We write anthems, this is more than just a theme song. Rock bees on our winter wears. Welcome to Benam, the home of the Phenoms. It's only one city that we lean on. We call that. What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here bringing you some really, really cool news. So I wake up in the morning and what do I see? This. <laughs> Attack on Titan, the, the game online, right? The game that I've been playing, I did two Let's Plays of it. Well, it turns out that the multiplayer release has finally happened for this game. Now, if you don't know, the game is in development by a guy named Fengle. And he was taking a, quite a while to be able to make this multiplayer because he wanted to redo the whole UI. And he also wanted to kind of add some updates to the game as well, fix some bugs, iron out some quirks. So, oh, another thing that was pretty much really highly anticipated with this game was the fact that multiplayer was going to be included with it. So, Fengle has finally released that big, big update to the game. As you can see right here, you have single LAN, which is going to be what lets you play with other people, local area connection and such. And then let's see, so let's explore this right now. This is my first time looking at it. I saved my first time to be on camera with you guys. So let's take a look and see what's going on here. So if we look at the settings, you can adjust your mouse sensitivity here. The, the controls are pretty much the same for the character. I mean, usually what I would do is for dodge, I would make that shit, I'm space rather than shit because it's easier for me to press space to dodge. And now, you you can fire flares? What's flare for? Whoa, okay, single mode only. Um, what's for single mode only? Um, flare, I think. If you're using wild camera mode, you'll need to reassign the special attack. Um, invert mouse is the Y axis. But no, we don't want to do that because I usually like playing with my controls seriously configured to only where they go, not the reverse. That's very bad for me. Um, we're taking a look here. Camera type to pause is T. No, to, to reset is T, to pause is P, show curse. Okay, so everything pretty much is exactly the same. So if we press backspace, we should be going full screen, but we can't, so... Oh well. Anyways, let's go back. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is just give the single player a little bit of a run. Oh, so you can change, you can say what level you want to go to. Alright, so I'm going to make my character Levi, since Levi is who I'm trying to play really, really well with. Because I like Levi a lot as a character in the series. He he seems like he's tough, but really he's very soft. Like, not soft-hearted, but he's very warm-hearted in a way. He seems like he's tough, but he's warm. So, I like Levi for that. Plus, his special is crazy. And, um, let's see. So we're going to change the camera to TPS. Difficulty. So you can change the difficulty now. Okay, then. So let's go to hard. Let's see what this game has done. We're going to go to old level one, two, three. Let's go to old level one and see what's going on. All right then, so this is what the game looks like right now. Now, as you can see here, we pretty much need to go on top of the building because I actually had a little bit of trouble syncing the footage because these Titans, they move really, really fast now. But okay, so this is the TPS camera angle. And as you can see here, you have a distance meter underneath your marker. So you can see how far away something is now when you're aiming at it, which is eh, sort of useful, I suppose. Not really all that beneficial for me though. I mean, it wouldn't really matter because since the thing turns green anyway, when you can shoot something, it doesn't really matter how far away you are from it necessarily in terms of like reading the data yourself, but it's all good. Either way now, um, oh, there's a smoke animation now. Okay then. Ah, so he added, it kind of looks like the Wind Waker now. There's more like cell shading graphics in there now. So, all right then. And it tells you, there's a new way that they tell you how many Titans are left. So that's kind of cool. All right, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. So now let's try to kill us a Titan. They said this is the hard mode now. So let's see what is exactly so hard about this. So we're going to go in for the kill. Woo yes, that's what I'm talking about. And now the Titans have like this cool smoky animation that they make when they leave. That looks exactly like the Wind Waker. So I'm loving it. The Titan seems to move really, really fast now. So let's see. Okay, so. We know that they move really fast, so that's kind of something interesting there. Now let's see if we can kill one of these things. Well, we already killed one, but um, yeah, I like it. The, the interface is updated a bit, so it looks kind of more clean in a way, in terms of like the smoke effects and everything. So I'm liking it, I'm liking it. 
We aren't able to kill the Titan yet. They move faster now, and oh my god, that blood animation is freaking disturbing, dude. Okay, so that basically seems like it's a change, but of course you guys aren't here for this. You guys are here for the multiplayer, so let's see exactly what's going on. Wait, wait, hold on. Let's check out what's going on with this Aberrant over here, because you know the Aberrants were some of the most difficult Titans to take out in the first place. They get up really freaking fast, dude. And now you can run up the wall without stopping, so that's really useful. You can run up the wall, and instead of doing that flip at the end like you usually are forced to, you can continuously run up the wall with no problems whatsoever. So Feng Lei did some really important updates to this game, some very needed updates. And this hard mode right now seems like it's going to be something crazy to take on, so you guys got yourself a challenge. There's also a new sword slicing animation, well, a new sword slicing effect from the animation. Kind of looks really cool. They added blood into the game now, so that makes it seem more realistic. I'm liking it so far. The, the blood effects and how the running happens and everything. The Titans move really fast. This looks like it's going to be really difficult. It's going to be really crazy, especially since now you can play with two people. So now, let's see what's good with the online multiplayer with this game. Let's take a look. Alright then, so now we are going to see what is good with the online multiplayer. So let's take a look at it right now. So, I'm going to go up to land here click it and apparently there are two options so you can either join another server or you can host your own server so you, oh okay this is very interesting so you can have up to four players playing this this is wait a minute can you do more can you do more can you do like 10 players playing this wow it looks like you can and you can start it on a hard difficulty max time you can change what your um i think you can change what your ip address might be can you I'm not sure how to work this, but um, you can only have one level right now, so alright, I get it. So you can't exactly have all the levels right now, but let's see what the experience would be like if I'm just going myself. So let's start it, allow access, default, um, let's do TPS, and we're going to use Levi, of course, as usual. <laughs> I feel like having saying have yourself a, d a damn good one. And now we're going to put in my name, so Etika, and let's start. So, this is a brand new level for this. Or is it? I'm not exactly 100% sure. I think it is though. I haven't really seen a level that looks like this in the game yet. So, let's see how this multiplayer level is. Okay, this is the same level, the first level from the first game. There's more Titans here now, I guess to encompass the difficulty of the game. And plus, since it is multiplayer, you're gonna be running into a lot more Titans, but you can have the ability to kill more of them because at this point now, you have a lot more people on the map. So with this multiplayer in this, I can see this game getting crazy. Oh man, so you know what? I'm not even gonna mess with it at this point, but I'm just gonna leave you guys with a little bit of a question. Who wants to play with me? If you wanna play Attack on Titan the game with me, be one of the first people to play the brand new multiplayer of this game, hit me up on my Skype at Etika World Network at well, my Skype is Etika World Network, or hit me up with the YouTube message, but you're better off hitting me up with Skype, that'll be the better option. But either way, guys, thank you for tuning in to this first experimental playthrough of Attack on Titan, the game by Feng Lei, Multiplayer Edition. I will see you guys in the next video, and I cannot wait to play with some of you guys. No homo. <laughs> Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.